Hi, my name is Jessie Chen. I'm the holder of this diary. Call it when traveling. That was my first time realizing how important a beanie and a pair of gloves are. It was minus three degree outside. Sounds not that cold, right? But the thing is, if there's wind, even if it's just breeze, you feel super cold. November twenty sixth, two thousand twenty one, in Helsinki, Finland. I was walking in Sibelius Park, which is famous for a special monument made of more than six hundred steel tubes, in an honor of a prominent Finnish composer, Sibelius. The park is wide, quiet, and entitled with a wonderful sea landscape. However, because the seashore could be double-edged, because wind can blow from time to time, and the body will soon be entangled by the coldness, which is hard to get rid of. I finally couldn't bear the coldness, so I walked close to Cafe Regatta, wanting to have some hot chocolate. Do you want cream on top of your chocolate? The clerk asked. Oh yes, thank you. I answered, and ordered a croissant at the same time. I then picked a seat in tents, hoping to get warmer, but I still felt cold, because basically my seat was still in an open area, or to be accurate, the entire cafe is an open air one. So I have no choice but to keep bearing the coldness. Actually, at the beginning, I was planning to sit around the campfire, but a group of people just took it before I finished my order. Yeah, that's one of the disadvantage of the solo trip. But fine, I believe my hot chocolate will give me enough warmth. Unfortunately, it turned out I was too naive. The power of air was so strong that my hot chocolate soon became warm chocolate. Yeah, it did gave me warmth, but in another way. Well, but what I didn't expect the most was the cream on top of the hot chocolate. I didn't expect it would be a hazard rather than a bonus. Imagine. You've been freezing cold and eager to consume something hot immediately into your body, but you just can't do so, because the cream blocked it. Yeah, this is what happened to me. So I had no choice to finish the cream first, and by the time I did so, the warm chocolate had become cool chocolate. Well. I wish I hadn't said yes to the clerk then. Chocolate may not give me enough energy, but the croissant did. I personally rank it as number one among other countless bread I consumed during my two-month trip. Oh, don't get me wrong, French croissant doesn't lose its prestige. Croissant here is just as good. As the one I bought in a random bakery in France. While enjoying my croissant, I didn't stop thinking how to get myself more warmth. Or let's say, I didn't even think. I just tried to keep as warm as possible. I then noticed the candle light in front of me, and unconsciously stretched my hands on top of it. And it was that moment that I realized how cold the air was. The fire was put out. That's all. The morning I experienced the unprecedented coldness, and my following plan changed accordingly. I gave up supposedly romantic walk, rather, took bus until I felt comfortable. Well. I guess sometimes Romans need to give in to the reality, right? Written by Jesse Chen. Thanks for your reading.